I'm starting off by applying my foundation. Today I'm using L'Oreal's True Match and I'm using the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge to apply it. I'm just dotting it all over my face and then blending it out. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eat In It to prime my eyes and I'm placing this all over my eyelid up to my brow bone and then also running it through my eyebrow so I can prime them for my eyebrow pencil. This is by Anastasia and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows, nothing too crazy. I'm also using the Sonia Kashuk spoolie to kind of brush through my eyebrows and then to set them I'm using Milani's Clear Brow Gel. I'm picking up the color Liar on a Sonia Kashuk flat shader brush. This is going all over my lid. It's like a pinky brown. I really like it. I think it's pretty. Perfect for a nice sultry look. I'm mixing Nooner and Limit together. This is going to be my transition shade. They're going right in my crease and also right above it. And this is my Sonia Kashuk crease brush. I'm taking Mugshot on this Sonia Kashuk shader brush and it's going on the outer portion of my lid. This is like a taupey brown and it's going to help deepen up the look a little bit. And then to go darker, I'm using Blackheart, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm taking it on a small shader brush by Ecotools and I'm blending this out and I'm buffing it on my outer V. I want a very blended look. I don't want any harsh lines, so I'm just blending it out. And then this is my Sonia Kashuk crease brush again and I'm making sure everything is nice and blended. To cover my dark circles, I'm using the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer, and then to highlight, I'm using L'Oreal's Magic Lumi. I really like the CoverGirl Concealer, guys. It is amazing. It doesn't crease. It doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it's not bad. I really like it. So I'm blending that all out with my finger, with a sponge. I'm cleaning up the edge of my eyeshadow, and then my concealer's done, and then I'm also going to highlight my forehead with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. To set all of the concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Powder, and I love this powder so much. It even adds some coverage, and it kind of gives me an airbrushed look. I'm obsessed with this powder, and I have that zip there. Ugh, I'm just going to put some powder on it and call it a day. I'm not trying to cover that up. And then on to um, smoking out the lower lash line, I'm using Blackheart, and I'm just smoking that out with a small smudge brush by Ecotools. Onto mascara, I'm using Maybelline's The Colossal Volume Express for volume, and then Maybelline's Illegal Length for length. <laughs> I love these two together, they are awesome. So now back to the face, I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer to just bronze up my face with an Ecotools small powder brush. And then if you go a little too crazy on the bronzer, it's okay, you just take a Kabuki brush and blend that out. <laughs> So I totally forgot to highlight, so I'm just taking Strange and highlighting right underneath my eyebrow. And then back to the face, I'm contouring with the Bombs Bahama Mama Bronzer. I've neglected this powder for so long. Why? I don't know, because it's so pretty. I don't know where my head was, but it's gorgeous. And I'm using a Sephora contour brush. I'm just contouring my cheeks, my temples, and all that good stuff. And then for blush, I'm using the Sephora Duo like Baked Blush. I don't know the name, but it will be down below. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. On my lips, I'm using Max Blankety, which is like my new favorite MAC lipstick. It's a beautiful nude. And then on top of that, I'm using Milani's Nude Gloss, which is also amazing. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!